Okay, guys. Um, hopefully, everyone has watched this video. Is going to watch this video, and we can continue doing the flipped classroom. Today, we're going to be writing equations in slope-intercept form, given a point. Um, so we remember slope-intercept form. I'll give you a minute to write this down. Slope-intercept form is y equals m x plus v. That's crucial today. That's what we're going to be needing to know. So what we're going to do is we're going to write the equation of a line in this form, and I will give you a point that the line goes through, and I will also give you the slope of the line. So we are going to be given a point, and a point is always in the form of x, y, and we're also going to be given the slope, and remember the slope is m. So we are going to have some steps to follow. The first step is that we are going to substitute for x, y, and m. The second step is that we are going to solve for b. And the third step is that we are going to then substitute, again, b and m into the slope-intercept equation. So let's take a look at this. I'm going to move these directions down um, right here. I'm going to do some examples. Okay, and I am also going to write our, our main equation, y equals mx plus b. You're going to be sick of that here, guys, after a while. Our secret word is lollipop. So there's our equation, and we're going to be using that over and over and over again for a long, long time. Okay, so number one. And we'll try a different color for this. Let's try, I haven't done purple in a while. Let's try number one. Um, there's a line, and it goes through the point negative 2, 5, and it has a slope of 3. And I want to know what's the equation for that in slope-intercept form. All right, step one says substitute for x, y, and m. Well, this is x, and this is y. So I am going to put in 5 for y, 3 for m, negative 2 for x, and I do not know what b is. Now I'm just going to do number 2, solve for b. So I just have to work this out. 5 equals 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, plus b. I add 6 to each side, and I get 11 equals b. Step 3 says substitute b and m into the equation. So I'm going to write y equals m is 3, b is 11. So here is my answer right here. Okay, I'm going to do another one. Number two, I'm going to change colors again. So number two, I have the point four, negative seven, and my slope is negative one. Step one says substitute for x, y, and m. So again, I'm going to use this equation right here, and I'm going to substitute negative seven in for y. m is negative one, x is four, and I do not know what b is. Step two says I solve for b. Negative 7 equals negative 4 plus b. Uh, I add 4 to each side, and I get b equals negative 3. Last step, substitute b and m into the slope-intercept equation. y equals negative 1x plus b is negative 3. Okay, now, I'm gonna, you don't have to do this um, for uh, all of these, but for this one, we're going to graph it. Remember, graph negative 3. And then I go down one, over one. And let's see, there's a line. It has a slope of negative one. Does it go through the point four, negative seven? Well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it would go through this point right here? Yeah, it does. If I had a little better graph drawn, it would. Okay, I'm going to use this again. I'm going to erase this purple here so that we can look at all of these things that we have. Okay, I'm just going to... And we're going to try one more. And so this time, our point well, this time, this is number three. And our point is negative two, four, and our slope is one half. Step one says substitute for x, y, and m. There's x and y. So y is four, m is one half, x is negative two. So you see, I put this in here, that's m, 
I put this in for y, and I put this in for x. Now, step two says solve it. For equals, let's see, what's half of negative two? Oh, it's negative one. Add one to each side, b equals five. Last step, substitute b and m into the slope intercept equation. y equals one half x plus five. Okay, you're going to use those same steps, and here's your secret problem. I want you to write me the equation of a line in slope-intercept form that goes through the point 3, negative 4, and has a slope of negative 1 third. And that's all I got for you. We'll see you. Have a great day.